sa aking tinubuang lupang kay ganda, dayuhan ay nahalina. Ngunit aking nasaksihan ang karahasan, pag-aabuso, pag-aangkin sa lupa, pagsasamantala sa mga kababaihan. Ubod na kalupitan ang natunghayan ng aking mga mata. Sadyang kay lupit ng kalagayan ng aking bayan. Maginita, kinita ko pa kaya ang pagbangon ng aking bansa o malulog mo na lang ito sa dusa. Ang bayan ay may kanser na panglipunan na kailangan ibilan sa templo ng sambayan ng Pilipino. At sa hanggang ito, sisikapin kong may kinta ang iyong kalagayan ng buong katapatan na walang itinata. Magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Ang aking tatalakayan ngayon ay tungkol sa buhay ni Rizal. Handa na ba kayong kumakinig? Oo! Ano ba yan? Rizal na naman. Boring. Don Francisco Mercado. He is the father of our hero. He is also called the model of fathers. Donya Chudora Alonso. She is the mother of our hero. She is also called the woman of more than ordinary culture. Saturnina. Oldest of the Rizal children, her nickname was Nene. Pasciano, older brother and confidant of Jose Rizal. He is also the philosopher Tasho in the novel Noli Mitang Here. Narcisa, her pet name was Sisa. She married Antonio Lopez. Olympia, Ipia was her pet name. She married Silvestre Ubaldo. Lucia, she married Mariano Herbosa. Maria, Myang was her nickname. She married Daniel Faustino Cruz. Jose, the greatest Filipino hero and perilous genius. Concepcion, her pet name was Concha. She died in sickness at the age of three. Josefa, her pet name was Pangoy. She died an old maid. Trinidad, Trining was her pet name. Solidad, youngest of the Rizal children. Her pet name was Choleng. Our national hero was born on the moonlit night of Wednesday, June 19, 1861 at Lakeshore Town of Calamba, Laguna. He was the seventh among the eleven. Itatahas ko ang lambog ng kalinisan na pinagkakasakit ng mga katotohan, maging ang pag-ibig sa sarili, sapagkat bilang anak, talos ako man ay may sarili pagkukulang at katuwaan. Sa aking tinubuang lupang kay ganda, dayuhan ay nahalina. Ngunit aking nasaksihan ang karahasan, pag-aabuso, pag-aangkin sa lupa, pagsasamantala sa mga kababaihan. Ubod na kalupitan ang natunghayan ng aking mga mata. Sadyang kay lupit ng kalagayan ng aking bayan. 
Makinita, kinita ko pa kaya ang pagbangon ng aking bansa o malulog mo na lang ito sa dusa. Tanging hiling ko lang na sa pagbuka ng liwayway, pag-asa ang naghihinta. Asan si Pepe? Ayun no. Halika, maglaro tayo. Kayo na lang may ginagawa ko. Ano ba yung ginagawa mo? Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> Ayun lang, pagtawanan niyo ako. Dahil balang araw, pag ako ay pumanaw, ako ay datayuan ng aking monumento. Ang boring ng Datsyaraka. Kiyomas Jumbagon, ano yun? Ang bayan ay may cancer na panglipunan na kailangan ibilag sa templo ng sambayan ng Pilipino. At sa hanggangan ito, sisikapin kong may kintal ang iyong kalagayan ng buong katapatan na kailipin na ng kalagayan ng aking bayan. Makinita, kinita ko pa kaya ang pagbangon ng aking bansa o malulog mo na lang ito sa dusa. Tanging hiling ko lang na sa pagbuka ng liwayway, pag-asa ang naghihin. I Mr. Pricano Picar, I Monicano Real, Subre Uno Yano Domingue. E, e, B, K, D, E, F. Alam bang istorya ng gamu-gamu, Pepe? Hindi na na. Minsan daw, may batang gamu-gamu na naakit sa liwanag ng apoy. Maski anong paalala na huwag siyang lumapit, lumapit pa rin siya ng lumapit. Gustong gusto niya ang liwanag ng apoy. Kaya, sinuway niya ang bilin ng kanyang ina. Lumipad siya ng lumipad papunta sa apoy hanggang nagliyab ang apoy at tuluyan siyang namatay. Dapat, lumayo siya sa apoy para may salba ang buhay niya. Mula ngayon, hindi mo na maaaring gamitin ang apelyedong merkado. Mapanganib para sa iyo. Maidadamay ka sa paghihiganti na ginawa ng demonyong nakasaya laban sa ating pamilya. Bakit kuya? Pinag-iinitan nila ang ating pamilya dahil naging malapit ako kay Padre Burgos, pati ang pagtanggi ni Tatang sa pagbayad sa mataas na buwis, ay binigyan nila ng malisya. Kaya ikaw, Pepe, mag-aral ka ng mabuti. Huwag mong ipapahiya ang ating pamilya. Oo kuya, e ano po pala ang aking kagamitin ngayon? Rizal, sa pamamagitan ng pagpapalit ng apelyedong Rizal na isalba ang buhay niya, ngayon dumako tayo sa susunod na pangyayari. Matalino ang nanay ko at hindi unano ang tatay ko! Sir, si Raymart, oh, sarap ng tulog. Pwede na naman kagabi. Buenos Dias! Cesar. Cesar. Ambisioso. Ambisioso. Rizal. Cesar. Cesar. Ambisioso. Ambisioso. In April 1877, Rizal, who was nearly 16 years old, matriculated in the University of Santo Tomas, taking the course on philosophy and letters. He enrolled in this course for two reasons. His father liked it, and he was still uncertain as to what career to pursue. During his first school term in University of Santo Tomas, Rizal also studied in Dateneo. He took the vocational course leading to the title of Pereto Agrimensor, or it is its expert surveyor. In those days, it should be remembered, the colleges for boys in Manila offered vocational courses in agriculture, commerce, mechanics, and surveying. Although Rizal was then a Tumasian, he frequently visited the Ateneo. <coughs> hmm. 
Ano sa tingin ninyo ang pagkakaiba ng dalawa? Ikaw. Ayon sa aking obserbasyon, mas maliit ang indyo. Ang ibig sabihin niyan, mas mataas tayong mga Espanyol kesa sa mga indyo. Rizal, ano ang iyong masasabi? Kung tangkad at katawan ng pagbabasehan, talagang mas mataas kayong mga Espanyol. Ngunit kung talagang malakas kayo, ba't ngayon ay hindi nyo pa nasakap ang bansang Amerika? Good morning, sir! Why are you late? None of your business, sir! Joke! Hehe! <laughs> Ito ang ating magiging kasunduan. Pumunta ka sa Europa upang gawin ang naitakda sa ating bayan. May iiwan ako dito para mag-alaga kina nana at tata at ako ang bahala sa ating mga kapatid. Kuya, ba't ako pa ang kailangan pumunta doon? Ba't ako ay pupuntay niyo? Dahil ikaw ang higit na makikinabang sa Europa. Dahil doon, matututo ka at malaya mong may papamukha ang baho ng pamahalaang Kastila. Malaya mong maisusulat ang tungkol sa mga kinakailangan pagbabago sa ating bayan. Kuya, di pa ako ang Pepe, hindi lang ako ang may gusto nito. Pinag-usapan na namin ito ng ilan nating kamag-anak. Padadalhan ka namin ng iyong panggastos. Sinana na hindi pa pagi. Hindi natin sasabihin sa kanila. Malalaman nila kapag nasa Europa ka na. Pepe, ba't ang dami mong tanong? Sarili mo lang ba iniisip mo? Ipinagpatuloy ni Rizal ang kanyang paglalakbay at dito nakilala niya ang kanyang mga minahal. Segunda Katigbak was born in Lipapatangas in year 1863. She was the hero's first love. The codename of Segunda Katigbak in Rizal's diary is K. Leonor Rivera was childhood sweetheart and lover by correspondence of Philippine national hero, Sir Rizal. Rivera was the greatest influence in preventing Rizal from falling in love with other women while Rizal was traveling outside the Philippines. Rivera's romantic relationship with Rizal lasted for eight years. She was immortalized by Rizal in the character Maria Clara in Spanish language novel, Nolimi Tanghere. Her original hometown is in Camilin Tara. Consuelo Artiga E. Ray, the prettier of Don Pablo Artiga's daughters, fell in love with him. He dedicated to her Ala Senorita, which became one of his best poems. The Ortiga's residence in Madrid was frequented by Rizal and his compatriots. He probably fell in love with her and Consuela apparently asked him for romantic verses. He suddenly backed out before the relationship turned into a serious romance because he wanted to remain loyal to Leonor Rivera and did not want to destroy his friendship with Eduardo Delete, who was madly in love with Consuelo. Lucy San was a nickname given to Siko Yusu, a native of Japan. She had an intimate relationship with Jose Rizal during Rizal's vacation on Yokohama. She was 22 years old when she met Rizal. Her former status as a daughter of samurai gave her an address of Usei-san and the Honorable Nisi. Yusoi's family originally came from Chiba, nearby the present Narita Airport remote downtown Tokyo. Gertrude Beckett Jose Rizal's fling in London. Gertrude was the daughter of Rizal's landlord, Charles Beckett, who is an organist at St. Paul's Church in London. Coming from a brief stay in Japan and the United States of America, Rizal chose to live in the capital city of the United Kingdom on May 1888. Perceiving Jose Rizal's imminent courtship to her, his compatriot Marcelo H. Del Pilar teased the lover boy by suggesting that his first novel should be renamed Nelly Mitangere. Nelly boasted, also called Nelly, was the younger of the two pretty daughters of the wealthy businessman Eduardo Boasted, son of a rich British trader who went to the Orient in 1826. The Boasteds hosted themselves 
stay in Biarritz in February 1891 at their winter residence, Villa Eliada, on the super French Riviera. Rizal had befriended the family back in 1889 to 1890 and used to fence with the Anglo-Filipino posted sisters, Adelina and Nelly, at the studio of Juan Duna. Suzanne Jacobi was a Belgian lady whom Rizal met when he was 29. To somewhat economize in his living expenses, he left the expensive city of Paris and went to Belgium in January 1890. Along with his friend, Jose Albert, Rizal arrived in Brazil on February 2 and stayed in the boarding house managed by two, Jacob's sisters, Susan and Marie. It was said that Rizal had a transitory romance with the pitted niece of his landlady, Susan. In Rizal, six months stay in the boarding house, Susan also called Piti, got to know and was attracted to the skillful and enigmatic Filipino doctor, Jose might have had a somewhat romantic intimacy with Pete, a relationship which was probably comparable to today's mutual understanding. Sa kabanatang ito, ating nakilala ang mga inibig ni Rizal sa iba't ibang bansa. Ngayon, dumako naman tayo sa iba pang nangyari sa buhay niya. Gaya ng pagpunta niya sa iba't ibang bansa, upang alamin ang iba't ibang kultura, pamumuhay at doon din siya nag-aral, kumuha ng iba't ibang kurso na nakatulong sa kanya at doon din niya isiniwalat ang kanyang iba't ibang nobela. On November 3, 1882, Rizal enrolled in the Universidad Central de Madrid. Central University of Madrid in two courses, Medicine and Philosophy and Letters. Aside from his heavy studies in the university, he studied painting and sculpture in the Academy of Fine Arts of San Fernando, took lessons in French, German, and English under private instructors, and assiduously practiced fencing and shooting in the Hall of Arms of Sans E. Carbonell. His thirst for knowledge of music, he visited the art galleries and museums and read books on all subjects under the sun, including military engineering in order to broaden his cultural background. Kaibigan, inaanyayahan kita na maging pinuno ng isang reforma. Di ko matatanggap ang inaalok mo dahil marami akong isinasagawa sa ngayon. Dispensa. Malacanang Palace, nagkaroon ulit ng pakikipagpanayang si Rizal kay Despohol. Ngunit nagulat si Rizal noong pinakita ni Despohol ang CP ng Port Friars na nakita ng mga Guardia Civil sa pillowcase ni Lucia. Inaresta si Rizal dahil malaking kasalanan ang pagsusulat ng mga subversibong babasahin. Kailan natin nagsapot na lakas ng loob para punitin ang ating sidula? Punitin! Punitin! Parang hindi kayo interesado. Nakikinig ba kayo? Rizal arrested in jail in Fort San Chago. On Wednesday, July 6, Rizal went to Malacanang Palace to resume his series of interview with the Governor General. At nakapagtapos si Rizal sa kursong optalmologo. 
at dito siya nagkaroon ng pagkakataong gamutin ang mata ng kanyang ina. Ating ipagpapatuloy ang pagtatalakay sa buhay ng ating pambansang bayani. You, Josephine Bracken, do you accept me, Jose Rizal, as your lawfully husband? Yes, I do. Padre, pwede po ba tayong mag-usap? Pwede niyo po ba kami ikasal? Hindi ko kayo pwedeng ikasal. Ang babae, walang problema. Pero ikaw, Jose Rizal, magpalit loob ka muna. You, Jose Rizal, do you accept me, Josephine Bracken, as your holy wife? Yes, I do. Sa kabanatang ito, nagkaroon ng alitan sa pagitan nila Rizal at Josephine Bracken dahil pinagkamalan siyang espiya ng mga kapatid ni Rizal. Alam niyo bang espiya si Josephine ng mga kastila? Hindi ako naniniwala. Hindi puntahan mo para maniwala ka. Alam mo bang kasiraan sa ating bayan ang pagsama niyo ni Josephine ng hindi kasal? Don't lie! Tell me the truth! Are you spy? No! You're hurting me! You're hurting me! Sa pagkakataong ito, isara natin ang ating mga mata at ating tunghayan ang nangyari kay Rizal bago siya binitay.
Yun lamang maraming salamat sa pakikinig. Raymart, naintindihan mo ba? Opo, Profesor. Siya po ay namatay. Okay, class. Dismiss. Goodbye and thank you, sir. Mga mag-aaral, huwag niyong kakalimutan ang inyong takdang aralin mahabang pagsusulit at ang paggawa ng pelikula ng buhay ni Rizal. Show we done, we drank kamin kuna.